Hey Aries, what's up Aries? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to be your collective reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general and that this reading may or may not resonate with all of you Aries out there. So please do not force the message. Alright, so let's see. Let's talk in. Let's see what's going on with you Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Aries. Alright, Aries. Let me just get a good shuffle. And we're gonna hop in. Alright, Aries. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm coming. Alright, well, let's see. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Spirit, please guide me through this reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. What do they need to know in here when it comes to their love life? So we have, I made a promise to someone to leave you alone, but I don't know if I can. I can't picture you with anyone else but me. I hope it's not too late. So, like, this is a selfish-ass person because, for one, they made a promise to someone to leave you alone, but they can't. And now they're saying, oh, I can't picture you with, picture you with no one else, but they're with somebody else. So, how do they think you feel when they go home to whoever they're with? Does that make sense, Aries? Tell them to make it make sense. All right? Not in 23. We don't got time for this bullshit. Okay? I daydream about you often. I don't know, Aries. That just, it didn't trigger me. It just got to me because it's just like how the cards came out. Like, they promised someone that they would cut you off and stop dealing with you. But then at the same time, they don't want you to be with anybody else. So, they can't picture you with anyone else. Okay? It says they're not over you. It says, I can't believe you went back to them after all they did to you. So I feel like that's um, in reverse, okay? Because I feel like this person is still who they're with because they promised somebody. Because it says I should have handled things differently. Yeah, they should have. All right? So let's hop into this reading, Aries. Okay. confronted them okay I wouldn't say they gave them an ultimatum but they confronted them they can no longer lie or hide this the moon is here to a sword dreamer something was exposed lies were exposed some type of truth did come out okay in regards to you guys so it was like they were caught it was nothing they could really do and now it's like they're making a promise to this person to leave you alone but with the six of wands, I see them still wanting, like, trying to come towards you or wanting attention from you. Okay, so, mm, let's see. We have judgment in reverse. So, I feel like this person just doesn't get it. Like, they don't, they're not learning their lesson. It's like, or they just kind of, like, don't care. I'm not going to say they don't care, but I feel like they don't. Because judgment in reverse is like... I just feel like with this energy, this, is, this isn't the first time that they did this to their person or whoever they're with, whatever they got going on. And they're promising this person they're going to cut you off and they're not. And they're going to get them get themselves caught up in a cycle and a lesson. And I, I feel like, I mean, they're going to get themselves caught up again. And this is going to be a lesson for you, Aries. So I would just say, like, in my opinion, I would just leave it alone. But I can't tell you guys what to do because I just feel like with this person, this is going to be some bullshit. I just feel like... There's going to be rumors, gossip. There's going to be shit said about you or people around them or people they know are going to find out about you guys. It's going to get back to 
whoever they're dealing with. And I feel like there's just going to be a lot of drama. The judgment card can also be drama. It, drama, it can be, you know, um, gossip, you know, people talking behind your back, saying stuff. Yeah, and I feel like it's just going to get worse. The Ten of Wands, they're going to put themselves in a really, you know, heavy situation, tight situation. I mean, like, it's just too much to deal with, all right, with the Ten of Wands. Um, I feel like it's also going to stress you out. I feel like both situations are already stressing them out or will stress them out. I feel like they're not going to be able to keep up with both situations because this person is not leaving you alone. Okay. Um, and I feel like they're still dealing with both of you guys. So honestly, I feel like they're kind of fooling the both of you. All right. There's a lesson to be learned here that you're not getting with this judgment in reverse and this ten of wands. And it's like the universe is like, okay, how much more of this are you going to take, Aries? So let's go into this Ten of Wands. Let's see why is the Ten of Wands here? The King of Pentacles are reversed. Yeah. So what's stressing you out? The the problem and the issue is is that this person is not gonna commit to you. They're committed to somebody else. Okay. King of Pentacles. They're just not taking this situation serious. No matter how much they're saying they're like they like you or whatever. King of Pentacles. This is somebody that is not committed. They're committed. They're in another relationship. They're not gonna fully commit to you and give you their all. It could be a Capricorn involved. Okay. With the devil. All right, this is somebody that wants to control, that probably wants to be with both of you guys, that probably wants to fool the both of you guys, and they're sitting up here telling you, like, oh, I don't want you to be with anybody else. Yeah, there's love and there's feelings here, there's a connection, but sometimes we got to say, fuck the connection, we got to do what's best for us, you know, because it's just like, why suffer in a situation because there's a connection, I get it, you got feelings, you love somebody, but it's like, this connection isn't healthy, Is it's not good. All right, let's go on to the Knight of Swords really quick. Um, what did their person say or what happened with this Knight of Swords? What was what was said? How's the Knight of Swords here? What was said? The Queen of Wands reverse. Like I said, they confronted the person you're messing with in regards to you. Three, uh, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands reverse. You will be the other woman in this case, Aries. You're the other person that they're sleeping with dealing with now with the judgment card in reverse like i said people around them or around this person somebody's gonna start to talk shit or will talk shit they're gonna be like oh you sleep around you're a homeworker you're a hoe you're this you're that it's the queen of wands in reverse oh this person is trying to come in between my relationship they're trying to break up my family yeah see the sun in reverse oh this person is this trying to break up my family they're miserable they have nothing else to do why do they want my man or my woman whatever something like that okay so there will be some rumors and some gossip and stuff about you um coming from this person that they promised to um whoever they promised this like the people around them it could let me see who's going to start the gossip and the rumors it could be the people that they know okay but well, let's see why is the um no who's going to who's going to be gossiping let me see higher font in reverse so it could be a Taurus. Okay, but it's just really telling me that they're going to be gossiping about the people. I mean, gossiping about the fact that you're, you're like, stepping into their relationship. That's, it's pretty much the same heart. Like, your person, the person that they're with has been stepping out with you. And they're, I just feel like they're going to be just talking a lot of shit and just, you know, saying things like you have no morals, no values. You don't have no respect. You know, you don't care about a relationship or a commitment or their relationship or commitment. You don't respect it. Because you're sleeping with them, knowing that they're in a relationship. So I just feel like there's going to be a lot of mess and a lot of drama. Okay? So, Aries, be careful. All right? There's definitely going to be a lot of drama here. Yeah. So, let's see. I can't picture you with someone else. Let's see. The four of wands are reversed. Yeah, they don't want you to be with anybody else. But I do see where there is going to be an ending here. Four of wands are reversed. I feel like it was never really like a solid relationship. I don't ever feel like it was... It was that deep with the four of wands in reverse. Could be, you know, maybe you guys are just like, you know, deciding to break it off. Maybe this person is um, moving out. Okay, maybe they were living with you or always at your house. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they were like sneaking over to your home or sneaking over, you know, to where you were, messing around with you, stuff like that. Um, let me see, why is the four of wands in reverse? The Four of Wands reverse talks about um, something that is unstable. It's an unstable relationship. It's an unstable environment. You know, our, um, there could be family and friends or people talking about this situation. All right, let's see why the Four of Wands is in reverse. The Two of Cups. 
So yeah, it's saying that even though there's a breakup or an ending or things are unstable right now or not, you know, going together, like not coming together right now, they still consider you like a soulmate. They still consider you to be their person and you guys have this connection and it's like they don't want anybody else to be with you. Going to the two of cups and the four of wands reverse. The ten of cups. Hmm. Interesting. It's very interesting how this person has made a promise to this other person that they wouldn't mess with you. But then over here, we have the two of cups and the ten of cups in their energy towards you. And you being with somebody else. That's going to really make them mad. They want you to only be with them and mess around with them. So that's very interesting to me. Let's go on to this four of reverse one more time. Why is this four of wands in reverse for Aries? Why is it a four of wands in reverse? The Knight of Pentacles. So they feel like things are unstable now. They feel like things aren't going as planned now. But the, this is somebody that is like slowly going to make their way back to you or that will eventually commit to you. They just need some time. Maybe they're telling you that they need some time. But what I don't like about this situation, though, Aries, is that they're telling you all this, and this is this might be in their intentions and how they feel, but whoever's going to be gossiping and starting shit and talking shit about you, they're promising that person they're not going to fuck with you. So to me, I feel like that's two-faced. They're playing both sides. Because how do they want this to the cups with you and this, oh, give you some time, I'm going to eventually come to you, I want to be with you, but then promising this person that they're not going to deal with you. And then on top of that, that person is, you know, like talking about you guys and there's gossip and rumors and all type of shit going on, you know. So let me see, what are they going to do when the rumors start? Are they going to, you know, say something to that person, to their person? What are they going to say or what are they going to do when the rumors start? Let's see. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Three of Swords. You're going to be heartbroken because they're still going to be committed to that person. It might even come in between you guys. It might even cause a separation or definitely come in between you guys. Because you're going to feel some type of way like, well, why are you still committed to them? Or I can't see how you can still lay with them, be with them, or commit to them. And they're disrespecting me and they're saying all this stuff about me. You're going to be heartbroken over it. You're going to be torn. You're going to be heartbroken. You're going to feel some type of way. There could be an air sign that's in between you guys, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay? Um, that is in between you. But if not, it's just, I feel like it's just, I don't really honestly feel like they're going to do much, honestly, Aries. I just feel like they don't want you to be with nobody else, and they feel some type of way, and the thought of you being with somebody else bothers them, and they really want to be with both you guys. Could be another Aries or a Taurus that's involved. Um, and I feel like they just want things to be their way. Go on to this emperor. Go on to the emperor. Somebody, they could have... Go back a little bit. For some of you guys, you guys could have been living with them. And they moved you out. And now they moved this other person back in. Or maybe they were broken up. And you guys had this relationship. And now they're moving back in or moving that person back in. It's something like that. Okay, let's see. Why is the emperor here? Go on to the emperor for Aries. Take back your power, Aries. The five of pentacles and the sun reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person's gonna let you down. Okay, I just see them letting you down. I see the five of pentacles is here with the sun in reverse. I feel like they're gonna let you down, they're gonna disappoint you. Okay, and I feel like this person also is sometimes the sun in reverse to me could be somebody wearing a mask. And why? Because the sun in reverse can be somebody that's not being their true authentic self. Sometimes they're not really doing what is making them happy at that time, or they're not living in their they're not living in their like like living and being true and authentic to who they are and what they want so i feel like if this emperor is here it's just kind of telling me like this person is like not being real and authentic they're not being true they're not being honest with you about a lot of things they'll let the the relationship go downhill and sabotage it destroy it and you know it will look and feel like unrequited love in all reality, you're the person that they want to be with, but they're going to save this other relationship or person or protect them or make them feel better and make promises to them while at, this, at the same time, they don't want you to be with nobody else. So I just feel like maybe there's power control. There's something else that they're getting in this other relationship that they're not getting from you because I don't understand this. I just really, I don't. I, I don't understand like how they're hurting you, breaking your heart, seeing this, seeing that, making like the whole promise thing. It's like, because I'm, I'm a person, I don't break promises. So it's like, it's like if I promise something, I'm going to follow through on my promise. 
You know what I'm saying? You don't promise somebody something and then break the promise, you know? So, let's see. Let's see. Um, how does this person feel about Aries? Because this is just a lot. Actually, yeah, let's go on to the sun in reverse really quick. Could be a Leo doing this to you, Aries. Let's go on the sun really quick. Ace of Swords. See, I told you they're not being honest with themselves. They're not being honest about the whole situation. They're not being honest. They're lying to themselves. Okay? But let's see how they feel towards you. How does this person feel towards Aries? It's crazy. Seven of Swords. It's, you're the person that they really want to escape and be with. Like, they want to, like, run to you, be with you. Okay? Um, yeah, like, you're the person on their mind. There's a spiritual connection. You're the person that they really want to have something long-term with and build with. But it's like they're, like, they really got to figure it out whatever they got going on but i just feel like it's just fake as up because they're gonna be treating you as if like they don't even care just to please this other person or maybe you guys got into it or something happened between you guys because they're treating this other person better than you right now but at the same time they don't want you to be with nobody else i don't um i don't get it let's see i daydream about you often let's see what's this about for aries the four of cups. Yeah, they do. They think about you often. The stars in reverse. Yeah, they know they let you down. They know that you're hurt. You're wounded. They really probably do want to fix and heal this. You know, but I feel like this is also somebody that, you know, um, is hurt. And hurt people sometimes hurt people. Could be an Aquarius. Going to the star in reverse. The five of wands. Yeah, this is somebody that needs to heal. They're wounded. They have a lot of issues. They have a lot going on right now. And it's like... They do. They have a lot going on. A lot of outside influences. A lot of people around them. Let me see. There can also be children involved. But if not. Um, let me see something. Let me see something else here with the five of wands. The chariot. For some of you guys. It's like they really do want to reconnect with you. And move forward. But it's a lot of people in the relationship. In their business. A lot of people saying things about you guys. About the relationship. A lot of people don't agree with the relationship as well and that's kind of stopping and blocking them from moving forward with you but it's like they i also see like by them moving forward with you it's going to hurt a lot of people as well so that's what they're also worried about it's going to it's going to affect and hurt a lot of people around them i'm not sure why but it is going to the chariot in reverse it may like be the person they promised to you know maybe their family their children i don't know but it's going to hurt a lot of people around them so that's why they daydream and think about this. Yeah, there's you guys can have a child by this person or pregnant. And I feel like their family or their partner or somebody already does not agree with that anyway. But if not, it's like um if not, it's like a child involved. And that's why they've been back and forth and in and out of your life. Or that's how they come and go. Cause they have a family, they have children, and people are telling them that they need to stop fucking with you and stop dealing with you. Yeah. The Knight of Wands are reversed the Page of Wands. Like, why you keep going over there? Why you keep fucking? And why why do you keep giving into this? You know, like, and it's like, because this is like just, not to say it like this, Aries, but this is just sex right here. This energy is like, they want to be with you, but they promise this person that. And then over here, all they can really give you right now is just like sex. Or all they're giving you is like sex. You know? I don't really see a lot more coming out of it right now. And I feel like there could be money involved. Maybe they're doing stuff for you, but for some of you guys, you're the one coming out out of pocket. You know, you're the person doing stuff. I feel like this person also thinks that you're, like, mean, and at times you can, like, be mean and push them out, but maybe it's due to everything they're putting you through. We have to pay the swords, eight of cups, two of wands. So, yeah, I feel like even there's going to be a situation that comes up, Aries. All right, I'm just, leave, I'm just going to leave it here. There's going to be a situation that comes up. And you guys are going to be all together. Or like they're, you're going to confront them. And they're going to choose the other person. Okay. So say like. I like say if you guys. Aren't. Uh, you get what I'm saying right. Mm. So I remember a long time ago. One of my friends was pregnant by somebody. Um, when she was pregnant. I'm not going to say by somebody. Um, she was pregnant, and so she actually happened to follow the guy that she was dating at the time. And so when she followed him, like he went to a house, 
she didn't know she didn't know who house it was but she like took down the address and everything and then she went back later and so when she went back the girl answered the door and then when the girl answered the door she was like i'm so and so i'm pregnant with his baby blah 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 he just looked at her and was like i don't know you and then she was like oh you do know me and then he ended up saying like he knew her or whatever and they messed around but he's like oh you're a liar you a hoe that ain't my baby blah 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 this is who i'm with this is my girl so they pretty he pretty much just like you know just blasted her kind of like you know like like oh you only messed around once why would you follow me you're a stalker you're a hoe. all this like he had to say everything wrong you know called her all kind of names everything in the book you know in front of the other person and then like soon as she like left not even like, I think like mm, she didn't tell me exactly but before that next day he was blowing up her phone let me explain let me explain let me explain so for some of you guys it may be a similar situation or something like that or you know you're gonna confront them in regards to the person and they're just gonna act funny for some of you that's not gonna be for all of you guys but for some of you so keep that in mind Aries all right so let's see Give me some messages for Aries. We have pissed off. That's the first message that came out. It says, getting caught, secrets revealed, exposed, guilty confession. So, yeah. They're pissed off because you're going to catch them up. Okay. Um, or say something. Or like their person found out. We have movie nights. Spending time together. I love being with you. We have so much fun. So, I feel like you guys were hanging out. Everything was fine. Or like the night before or something like that. You guys, you know, have fun and things are cool. And then I thought they kind of cut it off or made that promise like the next day or several days later. We have gift. This person could have bought you a gift, was doing stuff for you, buying you things. Okay, with the gift card, surprise, something you've been wanting and waiting for. Let me see what this is about. Gift. Two of swords in verse, nine of wands. Two of swords in verse. But some of you guys are lying to you about an engagement or some type of gift that they gave them okay so let's see aries we have letting go so yeah it says it's over no more drama no more stress time to live again so for some of you aries maybe it's time for you to just let this shit go you're just you're just you're gonna get better we have text message you are on my mind i'm no yeah you are on my mind i miss you and can't get enough of you so yeah i feel like this person is going to reach out to you we have money issues i want to take you out but i can't right now so yeah they were either spending this person's money or like i said you were spending your money every time you guys went out and were doing stuff and kicking it and stuff like that okay so or somebody's money is tied up in this relationship or something like that or maybe their money is tied up in this relationship let's see messages for aries So we have on and off again, on again, off again. Someone's entering your life who may disappear and reappear. Don't get trapped in this cycle. Yeah, so that's what I feel like they're doing. Okay, we have game of conquest. This ain't no game though. All right, so it looks like there will be new love that's going to try to win your heart when you over. And I feel like they're playing games. I feel like you guys should fucking run. Okay, um, from this person in this situation, especially if they're making promises to leave you alone and all that stuff. I just feel like they're full of crap. If you ask me um let's see social expectations keeping up with the outward appearances but inward inwardly wasting away is not fair to you or your partner learn to let go so yeah i feel like for some of you well i don't know because i feel like for some of you guys they're trying to like on the outside make it seem like everything's good and all that on the inside it's not so i wonder who that's with because it's like remember i told you i feel like they're playing both sides you know, they're fooling the both of you. Yeah, see, but I feel like their relationship, there needs to be some healing. There is some sadness. And I feel like on the outside, you know, with the magician, they're making it seem like everything is all right. Everything's under control. But people are going to find out about you, the rumors and stuff. That's why over here, it's like they feel like it's just too much. You know, they think about you. But that, remember I told you they're going to be hurting too many people. Too many people will be hurt in this situation if you guys move forward. Okay. So let's see. 
We have absence. Having a dry spell or sex. Oh, sorry, abstinence. Sorry, I read it too fast. Abstinence. Having a dry spell or sex drought can be frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. Take this time to love yourself. So it's seeming like, you know, close your legs and mouth, Aries. Like, you know, shit. Don't, I wouldn't give them none. Yeah. Pull back. Don't give in to temptation. The strength card is like, you know, it's in reverse. Like, don't be weak for this person. Don't give in to temptation. Even though there's a connection, there's a bond, have some courage. Say no. Like, mm-mm. We not, ain't no sucking and fucking tonight. Mm-mm. Reject, reject them even when they offer a hit all across the bed and say, I'm good. Mm -mm. So they can keep their pants on and close their mouth as well. You don't have time. Because I just feel like it's going to be some bullshit. And at the end of the day, who wants to just be with somebody and all they want to do is just come hang out have sex or all they can give you is good sex or good head and stuff like that. And then it's just like this drama, you know. And then you're, you got this sexual attachment to this person or... You know, yeah, I would cut the cord to that ASAP. So, let's see. Aries, we have receptive. Yeah, so it says be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. So, it's like the universe is going to bring someone into your life where it's gonna where they're going to reciprocate. It's going to be receptive. It's going to be um, an equal give and take. We have rejoice. Embrace your loving connection and rejoice. Sorry, guys. I don't even know my TV was up. Uh, I thought it was actually on mute. Sorry. Um, and then we have love. Love conquers all. So I feel like love and Cupid is here. I definitely feel like some type of new love connection is coming in for you guys. Yep, obstacles. Yeah, you're overcoming some type of obstacles or you're going to come out of this situation because it was an obstacle and a challenge for you. And you're going to attract new love. So I just keep getting that in a lot of the readings. You know, with the Zodiacs, you guys are attracting new love into your life. And that's great. And this new, like I said, this new connection, there's going to be an equal give and take. All right. And it's going to be a loving connection. All right, you'll know when it's coming towards you because of the synchronicity. Don't let guilt or don't feel bad about this situation. Don't let this get in the way of your happiness and you attracting true love or finding love or going towards someone new. All right? They put themselves in that situation. You're about to remove yourself out of the situation because you don't have time. It's like, I mean, unless you want to be in this situation, but I mean, I feel like it's not worth it, but I can't tell y'all what to do, but they're just going to, it's going to be a cycle. It's going to be just, it's going to keep going on and on and on. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. All right, bye, Aries.